telling you guys how to get in protein period how to get in protein because on the health and fitness journey that's one of the hardest things because a lot of these diets take out the protein or they don't give you the proper balance of protein and fat so i'm going to show you guys if you're struggling with how to get in protein i'm gonna give you guys some tips on how to get it in in an easier way so most people think that the only protein that you can eat is meat. That's like the most promoted protein that there is, but there are vegetarians, pescatarians, like vegans. So what about the, those people? What about the people who can't eat meat? So I'm gonna give you guys healthy meat options for the protein. And then for the people that are vegetarian, pescatarian, or vegan, I will also be showing you guys or giving you guys tips on how you can get in your protein without taking in meat and meat products. Without further ado, let's get into it. So the reason that protein is so important is because it feeds your muscles. So when you put the protein into your body, you're giving your muscles food. And if you're working out and you're constantly working your muscles, you have to replenish those muscles or you're gonna cause your body to look limp and you're gonna look fragile and that's not what we're going for y'all know we're going for the nice hourglass shape so when you get your protein in right it's going to give you the right shape you don't want to look like this we ain't trying to look like that so make sure that you get in protein so that you can feed those muscles after you working out and while you're not working out protein also helps with your muscle retention so when you're working out and you're trying to build that muscle it helps you to retain the muscles that you're building if you're not putting in the proper protein into your body you are not even going to see those results what you intake into your body and the food that you're eating is what's going to give you the proper results that you're looking for. So if you don't, if you're over there lifting weights and doing all these squats and deadlifts and anything, whatever you're doing to build muscle, if you're not putting that protein back into your body, you're wasting your time. So I recommend you all to at least try to get about 30 grams of protein with each meal that you eat. And I know it sounds like a lot because if you eat three meals a day, that's about 90 grams of protein, but it's a lot easier than you think. You just have to pay attention to the things that you're putting into your body and knowing exactly how many calories, protein, sugar, all of that stuff. You need to know what you're putting in your body. So you guys already know that meat is one of the number one proteins that's always talked about. Um, so I am going to start with that. So to, if you're not vegetarian or vegan or any of that stuff, meat is definitely a great protein. I don't recommend you like just eat a plate full of meat, you know what I'm saying? Because that's going to cause you to get constipated. So make sure you include your vegetables as well, but some meats that have really good protein. You can do like chicken breast, um salmon i love salmon so i'm gonna always recommend salmon because i love it um steaks like beef and stuff has a good protein as well and any type of seafood because seafood has low calories but then they have high protein and doing like lean chicken as well just lean meats it's like lower calories but you're still getting that protein in and that's those are the type of things that i recommend because there are high protein foods, but they have a lot of calories in them. And it's okay to eat stuff that has calories in it. I don't want you guys to think like, I need to find the stuff that has zero calories all the time. Like, no, you don't have to do that. It's okay to eat. It's okay to put that food in your body. Don't starve yourself. 
So dairy products also are really good for protein. Yogurt is one of my favorite things to eat for protein because for one, it's so good. Greek yogurt is really, really good. And I actually have a video um, on some snack ideas that you guys can eat. And I'll leave that in the eye above because I did talk about the yogurt that I love to eat. So that is a really, really good one. Um, another one is like eggs, cheese, milk. And uh, I will say, don't go overboard on these things because for me, I notice like dairy products, if I'm going too overboard on them, my skin tends to break out. And that's just what dairy products tend to do. They'll cause you to get acne for some people. Maybe I have more sensitive skin and it can cause you to get constipated. So any of these proteins, don't go crazy and like just sit there and just eat only that. Include some vegetables and some greens or something like that so that it balances it out and it flushes out of your system because you can get constipated off of having too much in your body. Too much without the proper vegetables to balance it out. Another thing that I recommend is protein shakes. Protein shakes is something that most people who get into health and fitness in the gym and stuff, they'll start drinking protein shakes. And even people trying to gain weight drink protein shakes. But don't drink those protein shakes if you're not working out. The point of putting that protein back in your body is to replenish your muscles. So if you're not going to be working out, it's really going to bulk you up. And that's not what we're going for. But protein shakes are really good. And I'll leave like a couple of different protein powders that I like to use and shakes that you can just buy that's already made. And they're really, really good. And one of them... I can't even think of the name right now, but it has like 42 grams just in that bottle. And it's like 160 calories. Amazing. Amazing with helping you get that protein in. Because let's say you want, you have two protein shakes a day. That's already 82 grams of protein. Now you just have to get in about eight, gram, eight more grams for your day. And you can do that with your dinner and maybe add some meat, you know, or have you some yogurt. You have two protein shakes and some yogurt, boom. You already got in all of the protein that you need for the day. Another example of some protein that you guys can have is quinoa. I don't know how many of you guys like quinoa, but you can make these things at home because I noticed when I cook the food at home, it takes a whole lot better. If I go buy some quinoa, it's not gonna be hitting the way I want it to hit. So I just recommend you guys just make the food at home and try different stuff that you think that you might like, not what you see somebody else eating. Because if you try to mimic their exact diet, you're going to fall off because they may like things that you don't actually like. But quinoa is really good and it has about eight grams of protein for one cup. Another example is just peas, like peas have another eight grams for a cup, and that is actually a vegetable. So there are vegetables that you can intake to get in more protein. There are so many ways to help you get that in. So next, you guys, I have some tips for you guys on how to incorporate that, how to get enough protein, because you know I told you guys it's important that you get at least 30 grams of protein per meal. So I'm gonna give you guys just a few tips on how you can, how to help you incorporate that throughout your day. So the first tip that I have for you guys is to eat your protein first. So eating your protein, starting getting your protein intake earlier in the morning allows you to stretch it out and not at the end of the day like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what am I gonna eat? How am I gonna get this protein in? Because I never ate none all day. So start early and start getting that protein in first. Think about your protein in the morning and by the time the dinner gets here, you'll be able to just enjoy your dinner and not focus so much on, I gotta get this protein in, I gotta get this protein. Cause I love my dinner. That's my favorite meal of my day. Breakfast is not very important to me. Like it's currently like 12 or one or something like that and I haven't ate anything, but that's, that's just, how I am. That's just how I do it. Y'all do not take that as I starve myself because I do not. I love to eat. Your girl loves to eat. You feel me? 
Um, the next step that I have for you guys is to just snack on cheese and nuts and stuff like that. Have y'all ever seen those little adult Lunchables that have like cheese and cranberries and um, like maybe like some meat or nuts or something like that? Those are really good as far as getting your protein in because they have some really protein rich things in them. So you can get that as a snack and that'll help you get your protein in. And snacking helps with your protein as well. And you can do healthier snacks. I'm not saying snacking like get you a bag of chips. No, because that doesn't have any protein in it. So snacking on cheese and nuts and stuff like that will really help you get that protein in. Okay, the next tip that I have for you guys that you're probably not gonna like is replacing the cereal and Starbucks, the Starbucks. Take that out. Take the Starbucks out and replace that with eggs, spinach, yogurt, omelets, like stuff like that for your breakfast, rather than going and getting, I don't even know what y'all get, caramel, latte, macchiato, frappuccino, whatever y'all like to get. All of that stuff has so much sugar in it and no protein, no benefits whatsoever. I mean, I guess maybe the benefits you're getting is you're able to have some energy, but go follow my mama on TikTok and I'm gonna actually leave her TikTok right here because she has a TikTok on there where she shows how to make protein coffee, protein iced coffee. So you guys, there are so many ways to get in your protein and not necessarily change the things that you like because if you like iced coffee or you like hot coffee or whatever you like just figure out a way to have what you like but make it healthy because starbucks is not healthy for you and it's definitely not healthy for those pockets because i know those drinks be like ten dollars so replace that cereal and that starbucks with some homemade um, with eggs, with some spinach in it, some vegetables, and some meat. There you go, you got your nice protein-filled breakfast and with low calories. Okay, so the next thing I have for you guys is just to include a high-protein food in every meal that you eat. It doesn't have to have, like, like I said, the protein shake had 42 grams in it. It doesn't have to have that many grams of protein. I don't want you guys to be scrambling trying to figure out this math equation or nothing like that. So just try to make sure that you include protein in every meal that you're eating because that's definitely going to help you getting that protein without thinking so hard about it. I don't want you guys to think like, oh my gosh, I have to calculate this and calculate that. And I, I don't want to make it hard for you guys. And it's not as hard as maybe it sounds. It's not. So make sure every meal you just try to include, if you're not vegetarian or vegan or anything, most people eat a meat with every single meal. So that's a simple way. You can have a meat with all of your meals, but make sure that you include those vegetables as well, because I don't want y'all to be constipated. Bowel movements are very important as well with your health and your definitely your gut health. So make sure you do it the proper way. Okay, the next one I have for you guys is to add peanut butter into your diet. If you're a peanut butter lover, then this is for you. Peanut butter is really good for you and high in protein. Um, it does kind of have a little high in calories, but it doesn't, it's, it's not all about having everything, having low calories, and that's what I'm telling you. So peanut butter is really good. If you can try to incorporate that into your diet, I know people mix their peanut butter with oatmeal. Having peanut butter and apples is really, really good. That's a really good snack that I recommend. You put you some peanut butter, the serving size, put it in the microwave for a little bit, just get it a little warm, cut you up an apple, and there you go. You got you a nice, high protein snack. Real, real good. Okay, so the last thing that I have for you guys is just to eat canned fish like tuna. Um, I recommend this because the tuna is very easy to eat. And I like to eat things that are very simple. I like tuna, so if you don't like it, then just scratch it, just scratch this. But I really do like tuna. So the little tuna creation packets, 
they're already separated. They have, they have the calories, the protein amount on them, and they're so good and they're on the go. And that's what I love about them. You can just grab one and go on about your business and you're still able to get your protein in and not think too hard about it. That's what we're trying to do over here. We're trying to be healthy, get that protein in, keep it, keep it at the right calorie, but not think too hard about it. So yeah, <clears throat> the bottom line is, that you need to get your protein in at least 30 grams per meal and that's going to help you get the results that you're looking for do not fall and drop the ball on your diet because the diet is so important and a lot of people try to get around it any way that they can but i'm telling you there's no way around it if you want those results you have to take the time to focus on your diet and getting in the right things that you need to get those results baby and yeah, I've been working on trying to get my body where I want to be, want it to be for the longest. And it's still a work in progress, but I work every day to try to make sure that I'm getting the right exercises. And I slip up as well as far as food because that food has a hold on us. That food has a hold on us. So I'm constantly every day working on getting my diet together. So never think that I'm perfect and I have all of the answers because I don't. Health and fitness, the journey is forever continuing and I will always have new and improved tips for you guys because I'm on this journey as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much and thank you guys for continuing to tune into my videos, liking my videos, commenting on my videos. I see you guys and I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye y'all.